hello hi everyone welcome back to our channel good morning good afternoon good evening i greet you all according to your time and locations you'll be watching this video yes my dear viewers i am back again with another update so guys i have a video here how like we all to watch but before then if you're meeting my channel for the very first time you're highly welcome please kindly do all to like share and subscribe leave your thought on the comment section let us know what you think about this video and i will see you towards the end we are nigerians and we are tired of what is going on in the southeast and we have decided to call our fellow nigerian brothers to arise and save their lives all what is happening is appalling a country cannot in relationship with Nigeria cannot be running a racist agenda. A situation where you gave citizenship to some members of this country to become your citizen and you allow them, after they have become your own citizens, to be raising funds in your country and be buying weapons and sending it to Nigeria to terrorize Nigerians, to kill Nigerians under the disguise of sit at home. It's enough. And they are killing. And we realize if this thing continues in Igbo land, then it will spread to Yoruba land, then it will spread to Hausa land then it will eat up this country. Enough is enough. This thing is, has to stop. Because what happened is, you see, a responsible government will not give room for such a nonsense in their country. And when people come on social media, and they can confidently, before cameras, and be raising funds to buy weapons and send down here, and we see what they are using it to do. And you, that country, there was a time they had to interrogate they interrogated Samuel Ekpa. We read in the news that he was arrested and interrogated. What was it? their findings and everything? And what are they hiding about? They are claiming they are no longer Nigerians. Then why, why are they doing that? You cannot allow them to be raising weapons there and be bringing it to be committing all this murder and be committing or committing all these actions. We will not take it. The name of it is a peace peace group. Group. Yes. Uh, are they Igos, are they Urubas, we are, are we are all Nigerians. Nigerians. Yeah, Nigerians yeah. But because this thing affects more of Igbo, that is why you have seen more Igbo rose up. So what is your position? Here? My position is just very simple. No, no, no. Are you the convener? Are you the Yes. You are the convener. Yes. Okay. And this is what we want. All those actors who have been raising um, Samuel Ekpa and the rest of them who have been raising funds under the disguise of IPOB, under the disguise of ESN, under the disguise of unknown government. And they have been bringing those weapons, smuggling it into Nigeria to commit all this evil. They should repatriate all of them down. Because we in Nigeria see that citizenship as a scam. So they should repatriate them here. We want them to go back to their villages and see what they have done before they face the law. It, it is the right of every woman being to respect other people's feelings. They should respect we Nigerians. Finland should respect us. Any other country, including France, including USA, including UK, including Germany, where all these people are harboring themselves, and then they were coming online and preaching hate and causing a lot of damage, innocent lives, including children, all of them must face what they have caused. That is what we want. So have you tried so, to reach the Finnish embassy? When we came here, when we came here, we display all our whatever, we tried to approach their door, and we saw the lock up, and we can't break their door. We are law-abiding citizens, and we know that their territory here is just like Finland government in Nigeria. So that is why we had our peace. But a few times before you came, they sent one person, one of their security to us, to talk to us, that they want to speak with one person among us. And my team volunteered me to speak with them. But up to now, they are here to talk to us. Then another thing we hear is they search it tomorrow. Well, even if it is next tomorrow, we are occupying this place. And as this time goes on, um, we are calling on all Nigerians to come here. We are occupying here. We will be, the more they are wasting time, we will become millions here. So basically, you want them to repatriate them? They should repatriate them and they should stop all this racist agenda. Stop allowing some Nigerians in your country to be raising weapons no, and be bringing no, it home. No, no, only Ekpa in Finland. Not only Ekpa. Oh. It's not only Ekpa. Okay, so there are other. Oh, okay, well, we have a list of them. I cannot be calling all their names now. So, and there are groups. They always meet on space meetings. And we all know all what they are doing. So, and you know, because this, uh, this their criminal organization is not a one-man show. So they have those they have recruited. They recruited all these criminal elements, thugs, armed robbers, rapists, kidnappers, and they were using them. So what we just want is we want peace in our country. 
We want our family. We should be able to go to any part of this country and feel safe. We should be hearing good news in this country. And we want the new government to take action. What's your take on uh, the prosecution of Nabi Kanu? Do you think it should be granted, uh, granted amnesty? Do you know what? In Nabi Kanu have preached killings. He has preached, he started all these things. And it is very important that we should not give room for any criminality at all. So, in Amdikanu, started all this killing, started all these things. You cannot do all those things, invite war into your land, raise weapons. They are the people who started raising weapons. So, the truth is that all what he has done is criminal. It is criminal. That is terrorism. So, we are not interested in any evil act. We, are, we should be law-abiding. There are ways to go about things without killing human beings. If you want to do sit at home civil disobedience exercise, it should be voluntary. It should not be a thing by force, by fire, by killing them, they must comply. And they felt they were having the OD. So Inam Dekano has committed terrorist act. And they should investigate him. Government should also respect the law. We want things to go in order. We want the right things to be go in this country. We want our government to swing into action. We cannot just leave the egos alone with this problem. We are brothers, we are sisters, and they are dying, and they don't have a voice. But because some people are in Greenland Paso and they are being sponsored by some foreigners, and they are committing a lot of atrocities. So that is our take on it. Yes, ma'am. Your name again? Akin Okunowo. Yes. Okunowo. Akin Okunowo. Akin Okunowo. Convener. Of the uh, this uh, Occupy Finland. And all these places. No, peace group. Yes. I'm Nelson Ndubisi. I am an evil man. I am Nelson Ndubisi. I am an evil man. So we are all preaching for peace and for the unity of the country. We no longer want any division in this country. So many marginalization has been going on. So many things have been going wrong in this country. This is time for the youth to stand up and speak out. If our leaders are not willing to speak up, this is the time for us to speak up. What has been going on in this country has not been fair. This is a country where we used to have peace. But as time goes on, we no longer understand, even the system of the government, we no longer understand what is going on. That is why we have to rise. The, 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 the granting of the citizenship in Finland, we, we do not accept it. It's not fair. We take it to be a scam. How can somebody be a citizen of another country while he's officiating in another country? And you are, the, you are born and brought up in that same country. Why you are making people to suffer? It's not fair. All these things, this is what we are preaching for. We are preaching for peace and unity of this country. Since we have gotten a new government, a new president that have emerged, this is time for us to unite and help the government to push it forward to the next level. Look at what is going on. No longer, we no longer want to sit at home. We as Igbo people, we are known to be a trade people. We trade. We do business. If a, a, a man or a woman that depends on business on a daily basis to feed his family and you ask the person to sit at home, what would the person be, how would the person be able to take care of his family? It's affecting us so many. So many times we have faced a lot of challenges in this country, but we are keeping quiet and 